You know, I get asked a lot, you know, what is the secret of achieving goals? You know, how do you really quantitate it? How do you put it down so every day you know if you're going in that direction of success or maybe you're altered? You know, and people are like, man, is it your genetics? Is it your potential? Is it, you know, when it comes down to it, success has nothing to do with potential. It's all about the perseverance of somebody. That will override any endeavor. If you throw shit against the wall, eventually something will stick. You guys that are, have this potential, don't have this potential, you know, that shit dies. What continues to last forever is a perseverance to always show up. That's what champions do. Every single champion is the same as every ordinary person. The only differential is that they show up to the event every single day. They see failure as a learning curve. They welcome failure. You learn more from failure than you ever will from success. The differential of somebody winning and losing has nothing to do with their genetics. It has nothing to do with their potential. It's their perseverance, always showing up. A person that's willing to gamble it. Show up, then you have a chance. If you don't show up, the outcome's simple. You're never there, like an audition. If you show up to the audition, there's a chance you might get the part. If you're too scared to show up and you sit back at home, wondering what if and everything else, no one in hell is gonna call you an opportunity because you weren't present. The winners always show up. They're willing to lose in order to gain. Big mental thing there, guys. This body is great as you are, as sharp as you make the arsenal. It can't do anything. If you don't have confidence in yourself, we all fall down in life. The question is, who gets back up? The guy gives you everything from A to Z to know what to do. I kind of just turned my life around. I used to be somewhat of an alcoholic. Greg has pushed me to be not only the person in the gym, but also in the classroom. You go after and you give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's ten times more of a man than someone said what if. Because what if never went to the arena. The difference between a winner and a loser, failure's there every time. This is the winner gets back up and does it again. It does it again. Until it goes his way. Championships aren't won in the theater of the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, when it's raining, when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. Harvard champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off as someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, and you do it right, the best of your ability every single time. If you find a fear, the quickest, the easiest way you can beat it is initially, right when it comes in. If you allow it to sit, it will grow root and start breaking you down, destroying the potential of the person you can be. Again, the champions, guys. It's not their potential, it's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not, you know, a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. Success does not define us. We define the success.